Hello, today we are going to uh, improve our navigation because if you look here, uh, when you navigate right now, we just have like the menu icon and then if you click, then you go to a different page, but you don't have a back button. You just have the menu icon again and again, then it's a bad experience. Then that's the folks here. Maybe you are going to do some other things as well. So let's do it. Okay, first we need to see where you have this icon and I believe it's in the header. And then here's the icon. Then I need to have like a back icon. Uh, that's the menu icon. Let's see if I have a back here. I think so. Backspace. Back arrow or just like left. Arrow left. Now let's see. So what I'm going to do here, if I'm in a specific page, I want to have a different icon here. Then I'm going to see to have like is show back button. Then I can decide if I want to show back button in this page or not. Then I can get like history dot location. For now, I'm going to focus in this case where I have a group, whatever. Then I'm going to get the path name. And from the path name, I'm going to see if this path name includes and what I want to include, the group. Later, you can improve this logic, but it's very hard to define where is the best way to show a back button or not. But in this case, I just, I'm just concerned about this specific case where I have a group. Yeah, what I have a group there. Then if it includes a group, I want to show the back button and this back button is going to return to the home page. That's the idea. Very simple. Okay, if it's include this group, I don't to have this. Then I want to show the back button. Then if I'm showing the back button, when I click in this icon, uh, this icon is not going to be because I think this is the menu icon. Let me just double check it. Oh no, this is the icon, right? Yeah. Then the toggle is not going to be like a toggle, but it's going to be just like the navigation to go back. Then I'm going to have a different function here. I'm going to have a menu, menu button handler because it's not going to be the back button all the time. Then if I want to show the back button, it's going to be history. The function is going to be history. Let me do like this. Then it's going to be history push. And as I said, I'm going to the home page. Okay. And otherwise, I am going to do whatever I was going to do. Right, right now, I'm going to do the same. Then I can do like this. Then I'm going to replace here. And I'm going to do the same for the icon. Like then menu icon. Oh, that's the name menu icon. Uh, custom menu icon. Then I'm going to use if you show back button, it's going to be the left arrow. Arrow left. I think I imported this already, right? Otherwise, it's going to be menu icon. And I can also replace here. Oh, it's not array, arrow. Yeah, I think I'm already importing it. Yes, I am. So that's the idea. I'm going to customize based in the in my location. Okay. Let's see how this is behaving. I'm just saving. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Objects are not valid. Maybe the way I'm assigning. Oh, it's not a function. Sorry. It's just the icon. I think I just copied from this one. Yep. Can you see? Now I have the back, but that's that's not the arrow that I want. And I don't know why it's also there. Yeah, it should not be there later if it's includes. Let me just console log this. And I can also console log this so we can see what's inside here. 
Okay, show back button false. Oh, it's not re-rendering here. I think that's the issue. Can you see? It's not re-rendering when this URL is a different one. But why? Why this is not re-rendering? I'm not sure. Because this should track the chains in the location. Oh, maybe. Oh, there is one that is called use location. Let's see if the user location is going to change. I think I got the wrong one. Then you don't need this and you don't need this. But I need to import use location. Use location as well. Let's see. Maybe that was the problem. Yeah. Because the other uh, function, the other one from like the user history is not concerned about the location being changed or not, then it was not forcing a new render. But like that's not the icon that I want. I think we have the icon library here I showed in the last video. I want a left arrow that's it's better to just like, oh, this one. Uh, that's the right one. Wist, that's the one that I want. Then I'm going to change here. Wist and Wist and Wist. And that's it. Now it's going to look better. Oh, no icon called Wist. Uh oh. No wish. What's going on? I think they renamed this icon. I'm not sure what's going on. Arrow back. Arrow back. Because in the past, like all the options there, we had here. But I don't know why. This is not the case anymore. But that's going to work. Yeah. Then if you click here, arrow back. If I click here, arrow back. And that's exactly what we want, right? Then. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if I click in the upvote, I will just remove this upvote. Then we have one, two, three, four. Then you can see like we have four upvotes here. Okay, then we can navigate nicely here. I'm just going to fix this because when we are expanding, it's expanding all the lines. Let me go to the tops because I think I need to extract like each accordion to be uh, a different one. Let me just do this. I'm just going to use a shortcut to extract it. I'm going to call topic. Oh, I think this is something wrong in the URL, in the ID. Let me do it again. Let me get here. Okay, that's the correct place. Then I'm going to extract this. Oh, why it's, do you see? It's, that's wrong. That's not correct. Let me do, you know, yeah, but it's it would be bad to do it manually. Let me try again. Maybe I would do here in this level. Let's see. Global. Yeah, I think it's better now. Then it's going to be one specific topic. Then I'm going to transform this into properties. Okay. Then I'm going to convert this to arrow function. Uh, let me try to convert automatically to arrow function. Yeah, arrow function. But I don't want to have this inside. I just want to know if it's upvoted or not. Then I'm going to, to change this. Then I can remove. And I can go there. It's using like distracted. It's going to be top. And then here I need to use a React component. And this one is the one that I don't want. I want to still have this logic here. Then I can do is upvoted, is upvoted, and then I can have the top key here. And I can, oh, this is the part that I want to remove because I want to extend inside the component. The class I can keep for now. And these are the, the actions that let me see if they make sense here. Upvote, 
No, I don't think they make sense here. I think you can also strike this. Okay, these are not here. Then I can close it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Then I can add my functions here and I can remove these actions from here. I don't want this, I don't want this as well. I can also get this expanded from here. I think I also can do some other things there, but let's do one by one. I'm just moving code, okay? Then don't worry if you're not getting because I'm not adding any new code so far. Then we need to have this logged user, then we fetch data, then I'm going to get this, then logged user, refetch data. Oh, I don't want to call refetch data, I'm just going to provide it. Yep. Then let me get here. Then I'm going to get this and also refetch data. Yeah, open alert as well. Let me see what is open alert because I don't remember. Open alert, open alert. What is where is open alert? Oh, it's here. Then we can also use open alert here. I think that's it. Let's see if this is working. Maybe I, I miss, missed it something, but the final, yeah, can you see now? As I just move the, the expanded here, then it's individual now. I'm not expanding like all the other items. Yeah, I think this is good for our navigation so far. In the next video, we're probably going to uh, improve this because right now it's very hard to understand what we are doing. We are going to put some text and then we can also see here that in the oh sorry that in the mobile we also have like this weird style inside it we're going to decide if we're going to keep the collapse or not but now we can navigate we can open one very specific item and that's important otherwise it would be very hard to to go back and forth here okay that's it guys see you in the next video bye